Government officials in Bristol said that their city was too multicultural to celebrate St. George's Day, England's version of the 4th of July. Except that it's nothing like the 4th of July because for the last two decades the English have been endlessly lectured about how displaying their own flag is racist. Meaning that the only people who dare display it now are drunk soccer fans and actual racists. The council said that displaying the flag may be seen as racist towards non-English people. And to be fair, England is a very racist and intolerant country. So it's only right that we should be ashamed of our own heritage. I mean, we only import 300,000 net immigrants every single year and give them immediate access to free welfare, social housing, and all manner of other benefits. How fucking racist is that? We're so intolerant that we tolerate Islamic hate preachers calling for homosexuals and women to be stoned to death, while arresting Brits who criticise Muslim immigration on Twitter. We're so intolerant that while banning the English flag, we allow Islamists to walk around the Houses of Parliament draped in the ISIS flag, while arresting Brits who read out Winston Churchill quotes in public. We're so intolerant that we don't arrest Pakistani rape gangs while they're sex trafficking children to avoid being called politically incorrect, while flying Pakistani flags over town halls to celebrate their national day. We're so intolerant that we make taxpayers foot the bill for Al-Qaeda propagandists to live in one million pound mansions rent free, while arresting Brits who plan to attend Draw Mohammed events. This is by no means the first time that the English flag has been characterised as a racist symbol by our own government officials. Back in 2013, the local council in Radstock, Somerset refused to display the St George's Cross because it may have offended the town's 16 Muslim residents. During the 2010 World Cup, council employees in Bolton were banned from flying the flag quote, over fears they could be deemed racist. In 2009, Labour-run Sandwell Council withdrew funding for a St George's Day parade, citing fears that it might attract far-right elements. What makes this even more absurd is that they asked a Muslim community leader in Bristol if he was offended by the English flag. Listen to his response. To say that Muslims are offended, I don't think is correct. We understand the flag is part of this country's heritage, and in fact many, many Muslims will identify as being British themselves. Once again, it's white middle-class leftists getting offended on behalf of Muslims. This is the bigotry of low expectations. They think that Muslims are so irrational and weak-minded that they would wet the bed if they saw a red cross on a piece of white material. How demeaning is that? Ask yourself. Would bureaucrats in any other country in the world behave like this? To be afraid of displaying their own flag on their own national day? Imagine Bastille Day without the tree color. Imagine Cinco de Mayo without the Mexican flag. We're literally being told that our own flag, under which millions of foreign immigrants have been given the opportunity to reside in our country, is a symbol of racism. Our own local governments are censoring Saint George, somebody who protected Christians against Muslim attacks in the third century. While European governments import millions of Muslim migrants, some of whom see the refugee crisis as an opportunity to enact jihad by emigration. While political leaders in neighbouring countries openly celebrate the demographic suicide of their own population. Unsere Stadt wird sich radikal verändern. Ich bin der Auffassung, dass wir in 20, 30 Jahren gar keine ethnischen Mehrheiten mehr haben in unserer Stadt. Ich sage Ihnen noch ganz deutlich, gerade hier in Richtung rechts, das ist gut so. Is it really a surprise that right-wing political parties are sweeping to victory across the continent when our own governments brazenly denounce our own flag as a hate symbol while vowing to make us a minority in our own country? How would citizens of any other country in the world feel about that? Imagine if Brazilians were suddenly told that their flag was a hateful piece of shit and that they were going to be supplanted by Chinese people. Yet this happens in England, it happens in Germany. And we just sit back and accept it because we're so racist and intolerant.